everybody, it's Jess here with Less Jess. Thank you so much for watching. It is Monday morning and our school has gone virtual for the next week. I am so not looking forward to it. <laughs> um, but welcome to the vlog. <laughs> you guys are going to keep me sane today. Hopefully I can um, just like stay calm. So if you're new, I'm a mom of three. One of my children has autism and it makes it makes things harder. It makes lots of things harder. One of the big things that makes harder is virtual learning. Um, he's in fourth grade now. Apparently fourth grade is like a hundred million times more work than third grade and second grade. Like it's just a very work heavy <laughs> year it seems like. And I have to sit with Nate the entire time. It is like pulling teeth. He hates it. I hate it. Um, and I hate it. <laughs> anyway, our school has gone virtual for the next week because, and I don't know what the kids are blaring out there. If you can hear it, that's driving me crazy too. Um, we haven't started virtual yet. They're gone virtual because, um, apparently the COVID numbers have increased. I know they've increased everywhere. I get it. I understand they're staffing issues and they're trying to keep the kids safe. I get it. It's just very frustrating for parents who, especially ones with special needs, like school is how Nate gets therapy. You know, it's how he gets treatment. It's how he learns is in school. And when they constantly, we have done virtual a lot this year, when they constantly just call virtual and, you know, for normal kids, it might not be that big of a deal. Although Lucy hates it too. Um, it may not be that big of a deal to just go virtual for a week. For Nate, it is a big deal. And for us, it's a big deal. So it just gets really frustrating. I'm trying to keep a positive attitude. I just looked at Nate's schedule. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the amount of time we have to be on Google Meets and doing all this stuff. Um, I don't know how people are supposed to have lives. You know, <laughs> like I have a almost two-year-old. Like he's not going to just sit quietly while I work on school all day, you know, like this is going to take all day. Um, I have work I need to get done, you know, and stuff like that. So I don't know how people who are actually going into work because I work from home. I don't know how people who actually go into work and I have my own hours. I can schedule my videos. I can work with brands. I can do all the stuff I do. I can kind of manipulate it to some extent. Um, but people who actually have a set schedule, I don't know how you do it. Like, I don't know how you just have to like call in when the kids go virtual. I don't know. But I am so not looking forward to this. Try to keep a positive attitude. Like we will get through it. But it makes the whole week really stressful. So like I said, Nate has a lot of virtual calls. He has one at 9. He has another one at 940, which is like, that's like hardly any time in between to do anything besides him to get upset. He is going to get back on another call. He's got one at 12.30, um, and then he has work all during it. Lucy's probably are, are going to be at different times, which also makes it kind of hard because we're doing, I don't know. Then, thankfully, the only good part of today is David's off, so it's going to be a, t <laughs> a great off day for him, but he can help me with Mark and um, help me with the virtual and stuff. But the rest of the week, I've got Mark here, my two-year-old, almost two-year-old, and I've just got to make it work. Um, you know, like we're going to just do the best we can. That's all I can do. And Nate's at this point now with fourth grade where they're learning things that is not just easy to figure out, especially like a lot of their math and stuff. They do it different than how I learned it. And it's not like, oh, well, I can just teach him my way. No, they want to see like there's all these computer programs and stuff. They want to see you like work it out correctly. And if you don't, it's wrong. And so it's just really frustrating. They have all these different like computer apps and websites and all of this that I don't know about. You know, Lucy can tell me, oh, that's, you know, this one, you log in like this. They can't tell me any of that. So I got to try to figure it out. It's just really stressful. I'm not trying to just come on here and be negative. I'm just trying to like gear up for the day. But anyway, it's going to be a good day. Um, I plan to sometime today go to the gym. Normally on Mondays I go first thing in the morning, but with all the Google Meets and stuff, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I will probably go in the afternoon once we get done with everything. Um, 
yeah <laughs> so anyway you guys come with us today i promise you will have fun we will find a way to make it fun y'all can hang out with me while um i deal with this <laughs> i know y'all think like i'm super patient and um i have it all together i don't have it all together like this really stresses me out and it just i think the hardest part for me is like we're two years into this you know like Whack when it was, oh, a few weeks in, a month in, a couple months in, you know, we were more understanding of, and more like willing to make concessions and stuff. But as it's going longer and longer and longer, it's just getting crazy. Lucy was in kindergarten when all of this happened. She's now in second grade. Like most of her school year, most of her school life has been not normal, you know, and I'm not saying that's anybody's fault. I do think everybody's trying to do the best they can, but it's like, man, I just want to get back to some sort of normal, you know, and this is just not normal. So we're going to get started. I am going to go in there, start with Nate. I just gave him his medicine, so I'm going to let that kind of kick in. That'll work on in our favor today. And they're eating some breakfast, and so I'm going to... You know what, I've just decided, like, we're just going to do the best we can. If we don't get every little thing done, it's okay. Like, our mental happiness and peace is worth more than stressing him out all day about it. But we are going to try to get done as best as we can. So, you guys come join us today for a fun day of Monday virtual learning and all week to come. <laughs> today, we're just worrying about today. So, let's get going. <music> I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time What it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Alright guys, let me fill you in on where we are at 12.15 So we have worked for over three hours Pretty much straight I've given Nate a few breaks But I feel like if I can get his work done As much as, like, he's more focused in the mornings Towards the afternoon he gets I think his medicine starts wearing off and stuff, but it's harder. So we try to do as much as we can in the morning. Um, we're getting there. It's not been too bad. I mean, it's not been great, but <laughs> we've survived. Um, he has one more call in about 15 minutes. He's not going to be happy about that, but he's got to do it. And Lucy is pretty much done for the day. So except for piano, she has piano later. That'll be in person because piano is not associated with our school or anything. So they're not closed. <laughs> Um, it's just been hard. Like, I don't know, like I, we've gotten all the school stuff done, but literally I've gotten nothing else done. I am still in my pajamas. Um, and David's been here like tomorrow and the rest of the week, David's not going to be here during the day. So it'll be like me dealing with Mark and like, he's been watching Mark and playing with him and stuff, um, changing his diaper and all of that. So, um, it's just hard because like I've done nothing around the house. I've got no laundry done. I've got nothing like done that I need to get done. Like the, all that stuff continues and I've got no work done <laughs> with my stuff I need to get done. And I haven't gone to the gym, which I desperately need to because I'm so like uptight and kind of stressed out, which I think going to the gym will help. Um, but it's just frustrating. Like, yeah, we've gotten schoolwork done for three hours, but like, what about all the other stuff that we have to do? You know? So Nate's done great though. He's got most everything done. I'm not, I'm not pushing him. Some of the stuff he really has struggles with and I'm not just going to sit there and answer it for him. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. We may be able to finish most of it. And then, um, they did PE. They did all their stuff. I fed them lunch just now. Everybody just ate. They ate in like 15 minutes. They were starving. <laughs> David just left to go to the gym. I was like, why don't you go ahead and go? I still have another call to do with Nate. And um, like, I know, I know David could do the call, but 
I know how the Zoom calls work. It's almost easier for me just to do it with Nate as opposed to me like trying to explain everything to David uh, because logging into all of their different websites and classroom things, it, I need a cheat sheet or something <laughs> because it's crazy. <laughs> I had to learn all that. Um, anyway, so David's going to go to the gym, then he's going to come back, and I'm going to go to the gym. I'm still, like I said, I'm still in my pajamas. But while I had a second, I thought I would show you guys. Um, I made up a meal plan for the week. I went to the grocery store on the last vlog and got, like, $43 worth of stuff. Oh, the light went weird. Um, I got $43 worth of stuff, and I also had David pick up a couple things that I forgot just realized we're out of contact solution. We have maybe one more day's worth. So if I have time, I may run into Walmart today and get contact solution. But other than that, we should be okay. We're really trying to use up stuff that we already have. Um, I planned a little too many meals last week. So some of them are, ro are rolling over because we had a ton of leftovers and we love leftovers. I know some people don't like leftovers, which is crazy to me because I think leftovers are so good. <laughs> They're easy, they're fast. Like, what do you do if you don't like leftovers? You either cook less, right? Or you just throw it away. Like, that just seems so wasteful. I don't know. We Thankfully, we, lo we love leftovers. The kids love leftovers. Like, if their food, if I make something for them, or if I make something for all of us that they like, um, they don't mind eating it leftover. And it helps me out a lot. So, the other things that I'm planning are really easy, too. So, I have my little... Erin Condren snap-in thing. This is like a uh, wet erase. You can do wet erase on it so that it won't just rub off with dry erase. <laughs> um, and I could put it in my planner. So it's a little meal planner. So tonight we're having Asian noodles. I saw a recipe on Mandy in the Makings channel. I'm totally loving her recipes. Um, and it's like a Mongolian beef noodle something. Um, but all of the ingredients I had, I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure I have all the ingredients except for linguine and I bought that already. So we're going to do like a, it's made with ground beef. So I'm defrosting some ground beef right now. And then tonight we're going to have our Asian noodles, which I'm very much looking forward to. And I thought when I go, to, if I go to Walmart, I may pick up some egg rolls because they have those Vans egg rolls or they're so good. Um, I may get some of those to go with our noodles. It just sounds good to me. Um, tomorrow we're having chili. It's just that time of year. We eat chili all year round, but it's like really good in the winter. So we're going to have chili, bought all the stuff for that. Wednesday, I'm going to just go ahead and plan a leftover night. We have church that night and we'll have leftovers of both of these things. So we'll have leftovers. Um, Thursday, Mexican Alfredo. I found this recipe on also Mandy's channel. Um, I'll link her channel below if you're don't know who she is. She has a ton of followers, so you probably have heard of her. Um, but it's made with like sausage, like chicken sausage, and then like pasta, jarred Alfredo sauce, and like some like taco seasoning, I think. It's like a Mexican Alfredo is <laughs> the name of it. Um, so I'm excited to try that. Friday night, we're having breakfast for dinner. I'm not sure exactly what. I know I bought some like maple sausages at Aldi. We'll probably have those with biscuits, grits, that kind of thing. Saturday, we're going to have tacos either. I think we have tortillas. So we'll either do soft tacos or um, I may still have some hard shells in there. I need to go check actually that I might need to buy some more shells because I really prefer the crunchy tacos. But if we only have soft, I'll just eat those. And then Sunday night will be another leftover night. So that is the plan for the week. I like to get a game plan because Number one, I can make sure I have everything here so that I'm not like realizing at dinner time I don't have an ingredient. And also, it just helps me stay organized and kind of like plan out, oh, well, this night was really busy, so it should probably be a really easy night. Or this night we have this, so we should, you know, it just helps. That way you're not planning like I used to do that, like just plan whatever sounded good for that night. It would be like something that would take forever, but we didn't have time. So what would we do? We would go get fast food because we didn't have time to cook what I planned. So I'm not doing that anymore. Um, so yeah, that should be good. So Nate has just a couple more minutes. I'm going to have to get him on his call. When I get back from the gym or when I head to the gym, I'll tell you today, I'm going to work on 
legs, my legs. Um, you know, like I was trying to think, I wonder which day is the easiest because I do legs one day, arms one day, abs one day, abs and back. <clears throat> I'm not really sure which one's easier. They all hurt. <laughs> so I've really been enjoying going to the gym though. And it is cold outside. We got some snow yesterday. Not much. Well, we got a little bit of a dusting of snow and it is so cold outside. I'm just like, I don't know if I want to go out there, but I know I'll feel good once I go. Um, I usually do like uh, weights for about 20, 25 minutes. And then I do cardio for 20, 25 minutes. And I really have been enjoying it. But I really like, I don't know, this time of day, like the afternoon time, like early afternoon, I kind of get sleepy sometimes. But thankfully, I have a actually a lot of energy today considering everything I've already been through. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all back in a little bit and we'll definitely make dinner together. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, on the way home from the gym, I ran into Walmart to get those few things I was telling you about. And I decided to go ahead and get a few extra things because the kids are going to be home all week from school. And, you know, they always go through more stuff when they're <laughs> home. So you always eat more when you're not. You yes, you do. <laughs> and moms everywhere know that's true. Um, Lucy's getting ready to go to piano, so that's why she's got her jacket on. Um, it made, made sense to get these big bags of chips. We got the party size nacho cheese and the original. Um, these have been really hard to find, these party pizzas. They've been out like every time I've gone. So I decided just to stock up. We got one big box of the triple cheese and one of the pepperoni. My kids love these. Even Mark likes them. And then I saw these and I just thought they were so cute. And Lucy's getting low on her dino nuggets. So I thought she could have these nuggets of love that are just shaped like hearts. Um, I'm going to dip the whole bottom in ketchup. <laughs> make it hard, make it red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got some more orange yogurt for the boys. And then I also got this because sometimes Mark, if he's not eating good, I'll give him one of these and they have a lot of protein, 11 grams of protein. So it kind of helps. I feel like it helps him. So I got him those. I was going to get the Aldi ones are cheaper, but they were out this week. I needed some ginger. I looked at the recipe again and I needed ginger. Um, so I got this fresh ginger paste. I'm okay. I got the kids this for the week, um, just so we'll, you know, try to drink more water. Uh, um, Raspberry I, lemonade. I need something to tell you. Just a second. Let me finish this, okay? Hawaiian Punch. David usually gets the other variety pack, and I didn't even know they made this one. Our Walmart never had it before. We used to love the lemon berry squeeze, so I thought maybe he would like these. You get 12 lemonade, 9 lemon berry squeeze, and 9 polar blast. I got a small box of the cheddar cheese crackers. We needed more American cheese. I also thought the kids could try these Velveeta um, like breakfast cookie things, or you could have them for snack or whatever. They are supposed to be, you know, like, I used to love these, and I haven't bought them in forever, but I thought the kids could try those. Here's my egg rolls that I love so much. These taste just like a restaurant egg roll. They are so good. So we're going to have those with dinner tonight. I got Lucy some more string cheese. Her favorite string cheese is Walmart string cheese. <laughs> That's the one she always likes. Well, one time we bought Aldi, they were gross. Yeah, we, we got like I a bad batch at Aldi. And she was like, what? And then mommy tried one. It was really bad. She was right. We got like a really off batch or something from Aldi. So we like the Walmart ones. And then I went ahead and got this two pack of contact solution because David and I both have contacts and we go through it pretty quick. So that's my like 54. Five dollar haul. It adds up really quick. Um, and I'll show you guys when I'm making dinner. That'll probably be the next thing because I know this video is already getting long. Okay, real quickly. This has 350 calories. This one, uh -huh. and this one has 320. Why do you think that one is lower? What? Why do you think this one is lower than this one? Because there's cheese. Because there's no pepperoni, right? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, we'll see you guys back at dinner time. All right, guys, I thought I'd show you how I make me these beef noodle things. <laughs> so I'm starting with some ground beef, about a pound, maybe a little bit over, and I'm just browning it up. 
And then once it gets browned, I'm going to add in six cloves of garlic and like a tablespoon of ginger. This is the ginger paste. And I did do the garlic from fresh, but you don't have to. Um, and we're just going to let that cook for a couple minutes. And then we're going to add our next ingredient, which is about half of a cup of soy sauce. I use the low sodium one, which was recommended. And also I'm miss this, but you're supposed to have half a cup of beef broth, which I didn't have. So I just used the same container and just did a little bit of water to thin it out and it worked out fine, but definitely use beef broth if you have it. Dumped in half a cup of brown sugar. Also, um, this is a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes and also a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, I'm sorry, the camera work is kind of crazy. Dinner time is always crazy around here. And then I just let that kind of combine while I added four tablespoons of hoisin sauce. This is easy to find at Walmart. It's like an Asian barbecue sauce. I combined that together and I worked on getting my slurry together. So this is a cornstarch slurry, tablespoon of cornstarch to two tablespoons of water. That's going to thicken up the sauce. And that's really it. It came together super fast. And then I put in my linguine noodles um, and just stirred to combine. You're supposed to top this with green onions. We don't really like green onions. So instead I had some sesame seeds. So I bowl, I plated these up. I almost said bowled these up. I plated these up <laughs> in a bowl and topped it with some sesame seeds and an egg roll. You guys, does that not look like better than takeout? Hey guys. So it is the next day. I am getting ready to start tomorrow's vlog for y'all. And I realized I forgot to end today's vlog. So last night we made, I made those beefy, what is it called? Mongolian beef with noodles or something, the ground beef. Anyway, whatever they're called, um, they were really good. So a couple of things, they're sweet because they have the half a cup of brown sugar in there. They also have the hoisin sauce, which I think is kind of sweet. Um, so they were sweet and spicy with the, with the bread flakes in there, with the um, pepper flakes in there. David loved it. Like he loved it. He likes that kind of stuff. I like more savory things, and so if I was going to make it for myself again, I would do less brown sugar, maybe a fourth of a cup or even less, maybe a couple of tablespoons, um, and I think that would be really good. Maybe put some sesame oil in there or something, but David loved it like it was. Now, the spice for half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, it had a nice kick. I didn't think it was too spicy, um, but I like spicy stuff, so... You could also leave those out if you don't like any spicy. We really enjoyed it. And then we ended up playing some more games. <laughs> That's like our new thing is playing games in the evening. And it was a really good night. So I'm sorry that the day kind of started off really in a bad place yesterday. Honestly, I am just fed up with virtual learning, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, you know, I have a lot of stuff that I'm working on that is actually bringing in income to our family that is important to me that I need to be able to get do. And it's hard to not be able to do that when I need to. <laughs> but, you know, that is why I'm staying home and everything can be moved around and, and everything. We will get it done. So the kids did really, really great. It took up a lot of time, <laughs> hopefully. We'll be back in school next week. I just keep hoping and praying. So we'll see. But thank you guys for hanging out with me yesterday. I'm going to start the vlog for today. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up now. <laughs> I hope this video is not 25,000 minutes long. My phone is beeping. I love you guys. If you like these vlogs, you want to see more like it. I really enjoy doing the vlogs. I feel like it's Vlogmas.2 point, point or something 2.0 because um, they're just so much fun. So and it's easy to carry you guys around even when it's a busy day. So if you like these, you want me to keep making the vlogs, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? I can't help but smile